A lot of our participants have been coming to Upadana Adventures for many years, and one family in particular has come for about seven years now. And so we've been blessed to see their kids grow, and they're in high school now. One of the boys has autism, and so when he first started coming to our programs, he was very uh, withdrawn and wouldn't talk to us and would just kind of be uh, by himself and not participate with the rest of the group. But everyone welcomed him with open arms and he realized that, hey, I do belong here and I want to be a part of the group. And so he actually started leading our hikes and leading our bike rides and being a really great participant in Upadana programs. And I think because of his activity in nature and with Upadana, it's helped him to grow and mature and um, gain some social skills that he might not have otherwise been able to get. Another great success story that we have is a single mom with her son who's now five years old, and they've been coming to Upadana programs for approximately three years. So ever since Torrance was a little boy, he was paddleboarding with his mom on her paddleboard or rock climbing with her, and now he's on his own. He paddles on his own paddleboard next to mom. Uh, he climbs his own routes up to 35 feet without mom around. And he, he's also riding his own bike without training wheels anymore. And so he has just grown immensely through up and down of programs. And it's really great because his mom has a community to hang out with as a single mom raising her son and seeing these awesome male role models that we have that work for up and down, it's helpful as well. A young man once came to us at, uh, during our rock climbing event and he had just broken up with his girlfriend. He was kind of down on life and very depressed and he noticed that our climb night actually offered a dinner afterwards for free. And so he admitted later that he was kind of just there for the dinner and didn't really know how to rock climb and was very nervous. Uh, little did we know that he just moved out from St. Louis and was living in his truck. Uh, after he climbed with us, he again admitted that he was very close to suicide and that possibly our activity helped him save his life. Uh, now he travels the world rock climbing and we constantly see his photos that he shares on our Facebook page of him climbing in these amazing locations and just loving life. So. We think that Up and Down might have had a, a little part in helping him uh, do those adventures. One of my most favorite testimonials was a video I did of a young woman named Latrice, and we were paddleboarding that day in Monument Lake. And it was windy and it was cold, and I don't think she got to stand on the paddleboard, but maybe once or twice because of the wind. Uh, we got off the water, and afterward I asked, would it be okay if I interviewed you about your your activity today. And she reluctantly said yes, but after that she admitted that this was her first time on water and she's never gone swimming, she's never done any kayaking or anything like that. And she just attacked that fear of water by being on a paddleboard with us. And again, we provided all the equipment and the knowledge for her to feel comfortable. And even with the wind out there and some of the waves, she was okay and had a blast. And she's come back time and time and again to get on the paddleboard and is now a leader to other folks that want to try it as well. Another really great story is our kiddos from Colorado School for the Deaf and Blind. They've been coming to our activities for about four years now, and it's a private group when we take them out. Uh, they have interpreters who help us communicate with the deaf students or hard of hearing students. And one of the teachers actually gave a really great testimonial and just said how much his kids loved the activity and that he didn't think it was possible. But again, with the interpreters and with us providing all of the equipment, the kids had an absolute blast and are looking forward to their next time on the water. Another group that we work with is Big Brothers Big Sisters, and they've been coming for a couple of years to our activities as well. Another private group, we take them to Quail Lake most of the time. And when we paddleboard with them, they usually have the big, an adult, and a little, the kid, on the paddleboard at the same time. Well, uh, one young man was not too excited about the water. Uh, he had never gone swimming, uh, never been in a boat or anything like that. And when he got on the water, they were on the board together, his, the big and little. When they got off the water, he decided he wanted to go by himself. He also decided he wanted to swim and try snorkeling and try all these different activities in the water all by himself. 
So afterward, I interviewed him and he was just glowing with excitement. It was really great to see.